If you're losing sleep over your architectural design presentations, this video is for you. Back at university, I always pulled overnighters because I didn't have rayon design. Today, we're talking exactly that. Let me walk you through a project and show you exactly how you can speed up your workflow so you can get your sleep back. It's linked down in the description if you want to copy the template as well. And if for whatever reason you're new to Rayon, I've personally done a complete learn Rayon in under 15 minute video. I'll link it up here if you want to check it out before we dive too deep into this one. Like always, if you're new to Rayon, the first thing you want to do is come to rayon.design. That's it, just rayon.design. Then top right hand corner, sign in or sign up, whichever one is right for your situation. After that, we come into our login screen and we come to new model in the top right hand corner. Today, we're talking about this exact presentation set where we break down different options and configurations of an internal office space. Again, it is linked down in the description if you want a complete copy of this template. Let's have a quick look at what this template has and what you can create in Rayon Design. So of course, the first page is a cover page showcasing an imported image, a little bit of text relatively basic, we can do that with almost any software. Next, we have a series of options for our layout and of course our title block. I've shown you how to create your own custom title blocks and my title block as well in a different video, so be sure you go back and check out that Rayon tutorial. Regardless, in this space, we have three different presentation options and square meterage calculations. Next, we have option B highlighted in great detail. And in a second, I'm going to run you through exactly how to detail every single thing on this page. Then we have option B furnished. We have our locality plan, option A, option C, and an in-depth furniture concept plan. You can see in Rayon, not only can you have architectural floor plans, you can have images brought in, stylized, and everything in between. So let's move back to a typical floor plan. Let's start with option A because, you know, option A starting point. It's the simplest of them all. So if we zoom in, what do we have on this page in front of us? Well, we have a series of walls, we have a series of zones, and a few op openings like doors and windows. Then we have annotations, calculations, additional marker information, and of course our title block. Let's start with the basics. How do you create one of these beautiful blacked out walls? Well, down below we have the wall button, or you can just simply press W on your keyboard. Then you click your first point and your second point to finish. It will continue drawing walls until you press enter or escape, whichever is easier for you and probably more familiar. Then if we select our wall that we've just drawn, you'll see on the right hand side, it's 10 centimeters thick. That's because this document has been set up in centimeters. If we want to change it, very bottom right hand corner, unit length, millimeters. And by changing it to millimeters, that will automatically change to 100 millimeters, which is correct for how we document here in Australia. Let's say we wanted that wall to be 500 millimeters thick. We just type in 500, it automatically increases the thickness of the wall to 500. Not much else needed. Underneath that, we have our fill and our stroke. So inside our fill, if we wanted it to be nice black walls, we simply change the color to black by either sliding up and down on our color spectrum or selecting the black preset down the bottom from recent. This may or may not be there for you. Obviously, I've used black, red, and blue quite a lot. So if you don't have black, just simply drag it to the bottom left hand corner. You can always stylize your walls by going into the texture, changing the texture, having it as a wooden wall, for example, or a hatch if you needed it to be squares, if you needed it to be obliques, octagons, vertical lines, anything you choose. It's pretty easy to edit them quickly. But for now, solid, black, finished. The stroke in this instance isn't overly important because, well, it's black. So it can be a millimeter, it can be zero millimeters, it can be whatever we want. It can be red, it can be blue, it can be black. It's up to your personal styling preferences. Now, to place an opening like a door or window, we come up to our blocks in the left-hand library. It's the third icon down from the menu. We come into our libraries, simply type in door, press enter, and hundreds of different doors will load for your selection. Pick any door you like, it doesn't really matter for this purpose. Let's click on the family option for this double EU door 1800. And this one has a side and a front view. It also has a top view, which I'm going to use for this model. So drag, drop, release. Once you release it into your wall, it will automatically cut that wall for you. So you can move it up and down the wall without having to cut lines and add 2D fill or any of that. It simply just cut, drag and drop. The same concept applies if you want a window. So type in window, pick any of the windows, drag, drop them into your wall and it will cut it into place. If you needed to increase the size of the window, just simply click on one of the edges and drag the scale out. Now we have a significantly larger window that might be appropriate for our design. Those three easy steps cover 90% of this document. 
which means in a number of minutes, you can have a document that looks like this, so much faster and simpler than any other software. So let's delete that wall and talk about the next step on this floor plan, which is obviously zones. We have different zones set in this floor plan for our office spaces, our public spaces, our circulation, and so on. Now zones are super easy to create and they have multiple functions. If we simply move this zone out of the way, you'll see it automatically pulls apart from all the walls and goes down to one square meter. If we shove it back, it snaps to all the walls. Incredible, right? So how do we do that? Down the bottom, we come to a zone and it will automatically find a zone for us like this one here. We just simply click and it's done. That zone is created for us in literal seconds. No clicking, no typing, just zone, bang, done. As long as we've got all of our walls defined, it will find the zones for us. Now that zone is teal blue and the text is massive. We can simply click on the teal blue section, go to our fill, change the color as we see fit. So for example, we can hit that eyedropper. We can keep it to the exact same beige color as before, or we can have a texture. It could be tiled. It could be grass. It can literally be whatever you want. You can even like a gray carpet. After that, if we wanted to edit our text, that's again, super simple. One double click, delete the tags and let's type in office A and enter, done, changed. Let's say we didn't like that. We wanted that zone back, drag, drop, snapped, seconds. That's such a lovely feature. I don't know why every other software hasn't thought of that, but Rayon has mastered it. Now let's say we've got this light blue, supposedly. It looks pretty beige on my screen, but we'll go with it. Light blue style. Now we could go and individually change every single color or we can simply edit our style. So we click edit, we go to solid fill and let's just drag that to more of a light blue. There we go. Every single beige, light blue, whatever you wanna call it, immediately changes as we drag our slider because they're all linked to that one style. So instead of having to change individual items, they're grouped and automatically annotated in one go. That same premise applies to the text. The text is a style. It's 250 millimeters in a particular font. We can either change them individually by selecting another font, like the 491 millimeter, or we can edit that font. Let's say instead of 250, we want all of them to be 500. Seconds, done. Everything updated for us. Again, such simple concepts, such simple ideas to speed up presentation documentation that nobody is thinking about. Rayon is just thinking about every detail to make our lives easy. And if you're thinking, David, all right, that's super cool, but what about the stairs? What about the lift? What about everything else? Well, the stairs are 2D lines in this scenario, but the lift is a block. All you have to do is come into blocks and search for elevator. It has an eight person, 12 person, four person, six person elevator, all done, ready to go. Obviously, if you have a particular one in mind, you can simply scale it, adjust it, manipulate it, whatever you like. But in seconds, you can drag and drop lifts into your documentation and not worry about all the nitty gritty for the early stages. Now, let's say we've completed this documentation and we're ready to showcase it to our client. We can obviously export it like any other software. Menu, export, PDF, cool, boring. What we wanna do instead is come up to the very top right-hand corner. Let's hit the preview button and it will start preparing our presentation. That presentation is a live link that we're showcasing almost like a PowerPoint document so that clients can easily tap through individual items online without having to worry about downloading documentation and constantly downloading new documentation. Now it's available via, via a link or you can see it via the presentation button. So let's hit the presentation button just to show you what your clients would see. The side ribbon disappears and your clients get a live version of your document, which basically means if we go back into Rayon, go to our option A, B, C, and let's simply just delete option B. Now, before we share that to our clients so they can see it live, we wanna come into the share button again. We go to presentation and we simply update the live link so that when they update their documentation, it's completely gone. If we were to undo that step, go to share, presentation, update, refresh our live presentation document, you would see that option B is back immediately. Again, no need for your clients to download hundreds of PDFs as we continue to make hundreds of changes throughout the design journey. Better yet, the live link means they can open it on any device, mobiles, tablets, computers, doesn't matter. If they aren't tech savvy, it's super easy. They just click a link and the rest is done. They don't have to figure out how to go into their folders on their phone and find PDF, none of it. We're making it easy for everybody. Now, before we wrap up this tutorial, I just want to share the fact that Rayon has their own community page. 
If you're an active Rayon user, this is a fantastic spot for you to communicate and collaborate with other Rayon fans. There's questions and answers that you can ask the guys over at Rayon. There's webinars and demos. There's videos and tutorials from Rayon themselves and from other users like myself. Otherwise, there's a series of templates, literally hundreds and hundreds of them that you can have a look at and download. User templates that other people have created for you. And of course, you can win a brand new iPad or whatever the latest Rayon competition is. So genuinely, you wanna be on this community page, you wanna be seeing what's happening, and you wanna be up to date, because who wouldn't wanna win a new iPad? It's really, really easy to do. That's all for me, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below, and like always, I'll see you next week.